Many of the strategies used to effectively prevent high blood pressure are the same ones needed to control and reduce or lower blood pressure. And in this video, that's exactly what we're going to be going through. For the very best tips and tools on how to improve your health and wellness, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you want to know how to improve a range of common symptoms and health conditions using evidence-based lifestyle medicine that works alongside support and accountability that works for you, check out thethrivepractice.com. Hi, I'm Leo, the scientist and health improvement specialist behind The Thrive Practice, where I do the detective work necessary to get to the root cause of my client's symptoms so that they can finally start to feel like themselves again. This channel is all about providing you with evidence-based wellness advice that inspires and empowers you to hack your way to better health. In the UK, high blood pressure is the third biggest risk factor for all diseases after smoking and a poor diet, and around one in four people have high blood pressure. The British Heart Foundation estimate that around 4 million people under the age of 65 are living with untreated high blood pressure and as many as 1.3 million people are under the age of 45. So how can you quickly and effectively lower your high blood pressure? Breathe. Yes, I know you do this already, but slow deep breathing will cause the blood vessels to dilate, lower the heart rate and lower blood pressure. It's the reason why stress management and reigning in a type A personality can have such a profound impact on blood pressure. A stress reduction practice like Tai Chi, meditation, or progressive muscle relaxation can lower systolic blood pressure by as much as five millimeters of mercury. Lowering your salt intake by reducing or eliminating the use of salt during a cooking process and reducing the consumption of processed and packaged foods, including sauces and deli meats, can really have a profound impact on your blood pressure. Reducing sodium intake to a maximum of 2.4 grams and sodium chloride to a maximum of 6 grams can reduce systolic blood pressure by as much as 2 to 8 millimetres of mercury. Improving nutrition can also improve blood pressure. A diet rich in whole foods, low in sugar, high in fibre, high in phytonutrients can lower systolic blood pressure by between 8 and 14 millimetres of mercury. According to DASH diet principles, you should strive for around 4,700 milligrams of potassium. To give you some idea of what that looks like, in 128 grams of beet greens, the greens that are attached to beetroot, there is 1,308 milligrams of potassium. In the same amount of Swiss chard and butternut squash, there is 962 milligrams and 896 milligrams of potassium respectively. And 364 milligrams can be found in half an avocado. Celery is also very useful in high blood pressure control because it acts as a diuretic and it also dilates blood vessels. Exercise improves blood vessel function, insulin sensitivity and nitric oxide levels, all of which are important in lowering blood pressure. Regular aerobic physical activity of at least 30 minutes per day on most days of the week can lower systolic blood pressure by four to nine millimeters of mercury. Maintaining a healthy body weight can also help lower blood pressure as blood pressure tends to increase as weight increases. Research has shown that for every 10 kilograms of weight loss, systolic blood pressure is reduced by between five and 20 millimeters of mercury. So there you have it, five tips to help you lower your blood pressure. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, that's really great, Leah. I've tried these tips before and I haven't seen the reductions I would have liked, or perhaps you're thinking to yourself, I know I'm gonna need some support to get my blood pressure under control. Check out the link in the description. Check out these videos on how to accurately measure your blood pressure at home and the importance of an anti-inflammatory diet and lifestyle. And if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe and share it with a friend who could benefit. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.